Ya, yeah, ebwana mbo vipi. So, nimetengeneza tutorial ambayo amazing kidogo. Leo tutakuwa na tutorial ya kutengeneza website na website ambayo tunatengeneza leo ni website iko tricky kidogo. Ni blog, blog website lakini mteja wangu anauza story. Nadhani ufahamu zile story kama za Facebook, zile za mapenzi, sui ni nini, nini vitisho. Ya. Yeah. So alikuwa na changamoto moja kwamba akishatengeneza akishatengeneza hizo story akazoeka kwenye Facebook na blogs nyingine kama Blogspot wanakuwa anamwibia zile content wanazichukua. So kilichotokea tulichofanya ni kwamba nikamtengenezea website akanicheki kupitia YouTube ya YouTube videos kama hivi unavyocheki nikamtengenezea website ambayo ambayo ambayo, ambayo mtu akiingia kwanza hawezi copy content zake lakini pia mtu akiingia analipia kwa wiki au kwa mwezi ili aweze ku access content na hiyo website inaitwa dulistories.com so unaweza kutembea dulistories.com nimeweka kwenye link di kwenye description hapa ukaona exactly how, the, how, how it works okay so tutakuwa na pamoja a to z kama utahitaji kutengeneza website kama hii na pia kama ulikuwa na changamoto ya website kama hii please check video a to z tumetumia free resources kutengeneza hii video nadhani utaelewa na kila kitu kitakuwa cool ukikwama unanicheki okay tukutana na mteja moja ambaye anauza story online. Na then mtakuwa mmeshaona story, zile story ambazo zinasomwa, let's say story za hadith and whatever. Sasa akaniambia tukitengeneza ni, ni nauza story kupitia Facebook, story kwa mfano zinakuwa kama hizi hapa, kwamba anauza story Facebook, lakini story bahati mbaya huwa zina watu wanazikopi na wanaziuza tena, umeona? Kwamba anufaiki na story anazoziuza. Story zinakuwa za mapenzi, za ujasusi, za maisha, chombezo. Watu wanapenda sana kusoma na mimi mmoja wa watu ambao wanapenda kusoma sana sana kwenye magroupu ya Facebook. So anaitwa Duli na website inaitwa Duli Stories, anauza movie. So akaniambia bro, hatuwezi kutengeneza website ambayo nitauza story, lakini watu wakitaka kusoma story yangu wanalipia nikamwambia inawezekana na website tunazo tukaitengeneza so tukatengeneza website kupitia wordpress ambayo inaitwa dual stories so ningependa na nyie ufahamu labda kama unauza notes au unauza na wewe story jinsi gani unaweza kutengeneza website ya design hii inawezekana kama hii lakini design tofauti au ikawa the same kama hii hapa so website hii hapa ni ya kuuza movies no it movie sorry ni ya kuuza story ina maana mtu atakuja kwenye website yako atasoma story yote umeona story atasoma na ikimaliza anafuatia maendelezo maendelezo unakuwa upo kwa hiyo una cheki kwa mfano hii ni sehemu ya kwanza lakini huku inakuwa inamwonyesha sehemu nyingine zilizopo umeona na zinakuwa inamwonyesha kwa mfano umeona huku chini za kwanza inamwonyesha story zilizopo lakini moja ya features ambazo nimeziweka kwenye hii website ni tofauti kidogo kwanza kuna kuna kwa kuwa ni website ya kusoma tumeweka hii switch ya ya, ya mwanga kwa hiyo mtu anaweza akatumia dark mode lakini pia akatumia na light mode light mode ndio kama hii au akatumia dark mode akitaka kusoma nadhani unaona inaonekana poa lakini pia mtu kama anasoma boss lady sehemu ya kwanza akitaka kwenda sehemu ya pili anaandika boss lady boss lady boss lady sehemu ya pili akisearch tu boss lady sehemu ya pili ita load then itamletea sehemu ya pili okay ngoja uone ina load then inamletea mwana boss lady sehemu ya pili inakuwa imekuja hapa na naweza kaendelea so in, ina maana mtu akiwa amesoma sehemu ya kwanza anataka kwenda sehemu ya pili ata search hapa na kupata hiyo story kwa waraka zaidi. Anaweza kutumia hii sechi hapa lakini pia anaweza kutumia hii sechi hapa. Zote zinafanya kazi sawa, umeona? Lakini kitu kingine ambacho nimekiongezea kwenye hii website ni kwamba mtu akiwa anasoma story hawezi kuikopi kuipeleka sehemu yoyote, umeona? Nikijaribu ku copy I highlight, I copy, umeona? So mtu hawezi ku copy hii story atakachofanya atasoma hapa hapa bila kuyamisha So ningependa uone jinsi gani ya kutengeneza website kama hii labda in future na unapenda kutengeneza website kama hii kwa ajili ya ku encrypt au kwa ajili ya kuzuia watu wasitumie kazi zako hii ndio njia rahisi ya kutengeneza website ya kuuza blog post au stories online Okay. Sasa hii ilikuwa ni sehemu ya kwanza. Sehemu ya pili ya hii website ni kwamba mtu akishasoma sehemu ya kwanza labda na akasearch labda boss lady sehemu ya pili. Kwa mfano sehemu ya pili. Okay, let's say kasearch sehemu ya pili. Okay. Kaipata, kaipata kwa mfano imekuja boss lady sehemu ya pili, akaklik soma. Umeona? 
kuna kitu hapa nataka ukione kwamba akibonyeza soma sehemu ya pili hawezi kuisoma mpaka alipia umeona kwa hiyo inamwandikia boss red sehemu ya pili ipo habari tafadhali lipia ili uweze kusoma mwendelezo wa simulizi chagua bando la wiki au kwa mwezi umeona kwa mtu atachagua kwamba anataka kuwa anasoma hizi story anachagua anataka kwa wiki au kwa mwezi umeona kwamba kwa wiki ni shilingi tano lakini kwa mwezi ni shilingi mbili kwa mtu atachagua hii kwa wiki mbili kwa mwezi tano let's say hivi nataka niwe nalipia kwa wiki nitachagua lipa sasa kwa wiki okay nikichagua hivi itanipeleka sehemu ya kulipia okay na ikisha nipeleka sehemu ya kulipia itania itaniomba niandike baadhi ya data zangu hapa data ambazo ni ni, 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 ni za kawaida tu na password ili awe naweza kulogin na kusoma okay let's say ndio password yangu okay I just wrote randomly i don't even remember it okay then akija hapa umeona anachagua kulipa sasa huyu mshikaji anaitwa Juma Hemba kwa hiyo atatuma hela kwenye hii hii account account za Juma kwenye hizi namba let's say Tigo hii ni Halotel hii ni Airtel hii ni Voda atalipa muamala hapo lakini pia kama ni, mtu anatumia Mastercard anaweza akalipa kwa kutumia Flutter Wave na aka click place order na akaweza kulipia sijaza hizi data so nadhani itaferi okay sijaza jaza hizi data nadhani itaferi kwa hiyo akibonyeza lipa ina maana umeona imekubali atakliki ata, ata make payment na hapa ni wale wanaotumia Mastercard Visa card kwa hiyo website imekuwa integrated imewekewa na mfumo wa malipo ambao ni rahisi zaidi umeona kwa hiyo inakuja hivi mtu kama anatumia card Mastercard anaweza kaweka hapa akalipia umeona au pia kwa kutumia Google Pay na yeye inafanya kazi let's say tukisema lipa kwa Google itatufungulia tabu nyingine lakini itakuwa bado ina I mean the same thing okay so itatuletea hivi kwamba pay with google nikiklik hapa itaniletea sehemu ya kuweka card ili niweze kulipia kwa google okay do you see then baada ya kulipia sasa nitakisha lipia hapo ndo atakuja kuwa na uwezo wa kusoma story zinazofuatia okay nadhani imekuwa poa eh? yeah so website inakuwa hivyo na kitu kingine ambacho nataka uone hapa ni kwamba uh, ukicheki ukicheki sehemu ya kwanza tumeiwekea mtu asome free na sehemu ya pili unaweza kaiwekea hiyo au sehemu ya tatu ili mtu akivutiwa na hiyo hivyo vipande au hiyo story yako ndio aweze kulipia na kuendelea na story zilizopo okay lakini pia unaweza mtu akanavigate aka kwa kutumia kwa kutumia hizi hizi category ukiklik hapa kwa mfano story simulizi za mapenzi utakuja kwenye category ya simulizi za mapenzi tu do you see muona hii inakuja na category hivyo okay so umeona kwamba story karibu load do stories ndio inaitwa hivyo na tumeweka tumeweka story do story nani hivyo na huku chini ukija kwa mfano unaona copyright or right deserved designed by loadline ambayo mimi ndo nime design hii website ukiklik hiyo designed by loadline itakuleta kwenye website yangu ambayo utaona data zangu a to z lakini pia utaona na website ambazo ni shakamilisha za wateja lakini pia utaona about mimi unaweza kachat na mimi whatsapp then tukaona jinsi ya kufanya kazi lakini pia unaweza kacheki physical location kwenye google maps hapa loadline nipo hapa lakini pia kuna futa hapa ambayo inaelekea matangazo ma, nani inaonyesha contacts lakini pia kuna hizi follow unaweza kani follow kwenye hizi Instagram pages. Tukisema tuka click YouTube utaona kwamba YouTube channel ambayo ndio hii unaangalia unaangalia hizi video tuna video nyingi sana za web development uh, inafahamika kwa Loadline Academy. Pia hapa kuna namba yangu ya WhatsApp in case ukitaka kunicheck. Lakini pia kuna social links bado hapa unaweza kani follow na unaona baadhi ya videos ambazo ni latest zipo kwa ajili yako kama unahitaji kujifunza, okay? Lakini pia unaweza kani ukani ukani check GitHub lakini unaweza kacheck Instagram na Facebook zote unaweza kani check kupitia hii website yangu okay so tukirudi kwa dual stories nataka nikuonyeshe ni jinsi gani ya kutengeneza website kama hii ambayo mtu anaweza akalipia na kus, kwa kusoma story tu achana na zile za kudownload nishaonyesha jinsi ya kudia kulipia kutengeneza website ya download products lakini hii hapa ni website ya 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 kusoma stories na watu wanalipia kama una articles ambazo watu wana 
apenda zaidi unaweza kuzifanya hivi kwa encrypt watu wanakuwa wanachangia kidogo then wanalipia okay so now they will jump into wordpress dashboard na tuone tunafanyaje okay tunatengeneza website kama hii hapa the same website like this okay so tukiingia hapa wordpress dashboard nadhani utakuwa so mgeni sana na wordpress dashboard Uh, watu wengi wanauliza kwa nini tunapenda kutumia WordPress dashboard ni kwamba tukitumia WordPress website kwanza zinakuwa easy to manage kwa mfano watu wengi ambao wanatengeneza website wanakuwa na uwezo wa ku manage website wao wenyewe okay yani inakuwa ni rahisi mtu ku, ku manage website na kuitu, na kufanya matumizi yani hata nikikuelekeza aitumie mwenyewe inakuwa ni rahisi mtu ku manage okay so tukija hapa hapa kwa mfano click visit website tukaona what we have now do you see we have nothing hatuna kitu chochote cha maana hapa so tutarudi kwenye dashboard ukiingia dashboard wordpress kuna baadhi ya setups ambazo ni essential inapaswa tuzifanye kwa mfano tukija sehemu ya settings tukija sehemu ya permalinks hapa tukija sehemu ya permalinks tuta select permalinks to post name Okay? Nikichagua hapa then nika save inakuwa inamaanisha kwamba mtu akija kushia hii posti iwe inamuonyesha kwamba inamuonyesha domain yako slash inamalizia. Kwa mfano, hii nimetumia agemento slash inakuwa nimeweka sample ya picha ya kitu ambacho na kishare. Okay? Lakini pia ukija kwenye general hapa kuna kitu hapo muona kwamba hii ndio jina ya website. Kwa mfano, let's say na mimi niite dole stories. Kwa mfano, let's say ndo, ndo jina ya website stories Okay, they say ndo dule stories kwa mfano. Hapa hii ni jina ambalo ni mwendo wa ni mwendo wa stories za kusesimua. Ni jina ambalo kwa mfano ni search website yangu hapa utaona. Ni jina ambalo mtu akisearch website yako inakuwa inaonyesha let's say I don't need it to load, I need load line. Let me search load line. Okay? Okay, ni search load line. Ukicheck website yangu hapa hivi, umeona what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm sorry, it's not seen. Okay. Oh, so you my website. Kwa mfano, kwa mfano tuseme hata tuchukulie website yote hata isipokuwa yangu. Umeona? Kwa mfano, hii ni website haya maneno ai hai hapa ambayo inakuwa inaelezea kitu kuhusiana na website yako. Kwa mfano, check miradi I like to use miradi because it's inspiring. Uh, yani ana inspire vijana wengi sana. So, ndani ya stories zangu, umeona hii? Hii hapa, news stories habari. Sasa hii hii hapa news stories habari ndio hii hapa tukija kuiseti hapa. Ni mwendo wa kustories za kusisimua tu. Nikisearchi do restore nikiandika do stories. Yaani hii hapa nikiandika in short, nikiandika hiyo hapo ni kwamba itakuwa inakuja inaonekana mbele ya website naandika jina la website mbele ya website inaonyesha haya maneno, okay? Lakini pia unakisha hapa ni https 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 zote ndo ziko hapa ili iwe secured iwe inaonyesha hiyo our website is secured kwa kucheki hapa connection is secured okay then baada ya kufanya hayo yote kwa kisha hivi tunatumia tunatafuta theme ambayo tutatumia kwa sasa hii if if theme ni free ni ni ni, ni, ni premium lakini nitakuonyesha jinsi gani tunaweza tukaitumia hii theme ambayo nimeitumia hapa ni premium na nimeifanyia manuva kidogo tu hadi nimeipata hivi aina huku watermark ya hii kampuni ambayo inamiliki hii theme. So, nikija hapa kwenye themes nita click semia add new theme. Ni click add new theme then nitatafuta theme hapa. Hapa haipo. So, I'm gonna search here. Hii inaitwa hii theme inaitwa inaitwa Chroma News. Chroma Chroma News. Yeah, 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 yeah. it was here. Oh, okay, come on. Chroma News ndio theme ambayo nimetumia kwa sababu ina layout nzuri lakini pia ina inamuonekano mzuri so ukishaona chroma news uta click install ukisha click install then una click activate okay ndio ukisha click activate okay so tukijaribu kutembelea tena website yetu tukaona what you have been activated is uh, umeona at least imeshakuja imesha lakini kwa sasa haina setup yote do you see iko 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 randomly hata ieleweki haina demo content haina what so nataka ni kuishi jinsi ya kuweka everything so ukisha install tu immediately inakuletea plugins ambazo ni essential kwa ajili ya kuzi ya kuzi 
install hii website ya kuweza kufanya kazi fresh so kuna hizo bunch of, uh, of uh, plugins kama unaweza kuziona hapo so mimi nita click begin to install nita click install plugins plugins hizi hapa ni kama applications ambazo zinasaidia kuongeza baadhi baad ya, ya utendaji kazi kwenye website yako so nadhani kama umekuki nifatiria previous ni nishaelezea what exactly plugins is lakini hivyo unaweza katembelea google uka search plugin nini ukaelewa zaidi Okay. So, nita click nita select zote hapa, bunch action, back action, nita click hapa hivi then nita click install. Hapa nita install zote kwa wakati moja. Okay, zimesha install, nita click tena hapa kwenye return to the required files umeona zote zinahitaji activate then tutacheck hapa kwenye back actions then nita click hapa kwenye activate hii inasaidia kwa kurahisisha ku activate we, nani moja baada nyingine so sometimes unakutana na error kama hii una ignore una rudi back okay hapa ni connection problems lakini we gonna we gonna proceed then hapa unaweza ka click activate free version kila kitu tunachotumia kutengeneza hii website ni free so uta click kwenye activate free version hapa inahitaji easy plugins tumezinstall lakini aziko active so what we gonna do tunarudi hapa sehemu ya plugins kwenye install plugins then tunazi activate okay do you see okay so nita click hapa hivi nita click back action then nita click activate then nita click apply na maana ita, ita activate nani zote hizi ambazo haziko haziko activated is okay do you see so now first stage tumeimaliza ya ku install plugins then to refresh hapa okay na nazo kaona kwamba maybe there might be some changes but no changes lakini hizo plugins zitakuwa very essential okay then kuna plugin moja hapa ya elemental I don't think if you're gonna use it but inahitaji installation tunaweza tukaiacha kwa sasa lakini tukija ukiinstall hii hii hi theme inakuleta kitu kama hiki hapa kwamba AF companion ukiklik AF companion ukihova hapa kuna sections zinakuja kwa mfano import demo data documentation free themes pro themes plugins video blog sisi tutaklik sehemu ya import demo data demo data ni zile yani layout ambazo ni physical ambazo zitatuonyesha yani website yetu itaonekana vipi do you, do you see for example umeona na maana nikiklik import demo data itatuwekea hizi picha zote itapangilia website kwa ina maana tukija kucheck website tutaona website iko cool na baadaye tunakuwa tuna uwezo wa kufanya changes kwa sababu tunakuwa tushajua kwamba website yetu inaonekana vipi tofauti na sasa hivi umeona uwezo jua nini kiko hapa nini kiko hapa umeona huko amna kwa amna so nita click import demo data okay then nita click import do you see importing please wait so it takes some time to kule ku import everything lakini baada ikisha import na then utaona changes na to refresh website yetu utaona kwamba kuna a lot of changes e website is very good fine lakini haichukui a lot of time unakuwa umemaliza setup zote okay so importing do you see kwamba oh demo as imported correctly umeona kwa kila kitu kimeshakuwa imported kwa mfano tukisha import ina maana tukirefresh website yetu hapa utaona changes ngoja tu refresh hapa wale wow do you see now umeona website yetu sasa hivi isharekea kufanana na na hii hapa dole stories lakini hata hii ipo so kitu kingine cha cha ku mention hapa before before proceed on unaweza kutumia hii kama unapenda pia kufanya blog post unaweza kutumia hii website is very good for blog blogs blogs lakini uta uta uta, uta gundua kitu kimoja hapa ukishuka huku chini huku chini huku chini umeona huku kuna water mark ambayo imeandikwa all right deserved by chrome news by af themes so tukiacha hivi ukitoa hii badge mpaka tuwe tumelipia hii theme tuwe tumelipia uh, tumelipia premium premium version kama unakumbuka hapa kwenye af nilikuonyesha af companion kwamba kuna kitu kinaitwa hii hapa hapa kwenye pro themes ni maana tukichagua pro theme ndio itakuja aina hii futa ambayo inaonyesha uh, <coughs> watengenezaji wa hii website do you see so jinsi ya kuitoa hiyo tunakuja hapa kwenye dashboard yetu 
then tukija kwenye dashboard ukija sehemu ya appearance ukija huku chini option ya mwisho hapa pameandikwa theme file editor then tuta click hapo theme file editor ambayo itatufungulia uh, option ya, ya, ya code ambayo imetumika ku design hii theme so itakuandikia head ups so nita click understand then nita go on na niki go on nikija hapa nitaona uh, kila kitu ambacho kimetumika kwenye hii website na kama unafahamu coding basic html CSS, javascript coding utakuwa unaelewa exactly what to do lakini kama we ni mgeni kwenye coding utafata maelekezo yangu kama ninavyofanya okay then tunachotaka kubadilisha hii hapa ni futa inaitwa futa hii so nitakuja nikicheki mkono wangu wa kulia hapa kuna option ya futa.php then nita click hapa kwenye futa.php then niki scroll up paka chini nitaona hizi 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 information hizi hapa chrome theme by af themes then nikija huko utaziona umeona umeona hapa somewhere here okay hapa same ya, ya copyright hapa copyright hapa then sisi tutakuja kubadilisha hapa umeona kwamba kuna hii link kwanza http afthemes.com search products on profile new target new blank chrome news then kwa mfano hapa nitabadilisha nitaweka tena jina la langu kwa mfano nitaandika load line i like load line is my 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 business name okay load line then hii link yote tutakuja tutaiterminate nitaweka nitaweka domain yangu so up to somewhere here then nitaandika logins.com Do you see logins.com uh, for hapa hivi kuna kwa maandikwa af themes tunaweza tukata terminate string okay tukata terminate string then tukishaandika hapa tukisha make changes hapa na hii hapa hii hapa hii string full string tunaweza tukaitoa hapa hivi let's see if if we do this Kia Luisi then to to update file Oops era 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 so kama ni kuna kuna shida tuta tuta click control z tutarudisha hii hapa then by hapa nitabadilisha nitaweka load line okay they say by okay load 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 line do you see this has some so okay update file Okay, ya PHP code already back up due to line me are been atato. Kama kuna simu line me are been atato. Okay. Target uh, okay, 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 somewhere here. Then find a okay. Things like this. Okay, let me update this. Connection problems. Okay. So inakuwa inakuwa kitu kama kama hiki hapa. Hapa kuna tatizo la kimtandao kidogo but uh, soon it's gonna it's gonna let rave. So kwa hiyo hapa hivi tuta, tuta, tuta changes. Let me make changes. Okay, nitarudi back. Uh, come on, come on. Okay. Control back 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 okay i what i need to change is some uh is this rank i think this rank uh okay is uh, like uh here to change here pa tantanika load low line then uh do you have to try to update uh, my still online yeah my wife is connected okay so make sure una active internet before you do everything okay do you see our file is updated successfully kwa hiyo nikija hapa nika refresh here but hey, go away please nikija hapa nika refresh nadhani tutakuta huko changes chrome news tumeshaitoa okay so ni easy umeona already reserved load line by f a f themes i think we should change it also here load line by do you see this if i if i terminate this 
and tukitoa hivi tukabakiza empty string nadhani inaweza ika, ikafanya kazi <coughs> Okay. okay, file edited successfully. So to click refresh, e F3 meter kwa ipoten. Umona, load line. Ni e by bado ipo e up um, somewhere here. Do you see? Hapa hivi. Then niki niki toa e to kaba to catch a m the string. Niki janika nika 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 click update. Umona edit file edited successfully. Then click refresh it akwa I'm na e by. Okay. So baada ya kufanya hivyo, umeona? Kwa hiyo mtakija hizi jo kama hii theme ni ni, ni ni demo, tumeshatoa ile ile badge. Though atuja change link ya um, hii link hii link atuja change hapa. Hii link inafasha tu change. Na maana hii inafasha tu change hapa tukichange ili mtaki click load line pale iweze kumpeleka simu ya let's say hapo ndo tunaandika https://regions.com Origins.com. Do you see? It's like this. Origins.com. Let me see. Is it a right code? Come on. Yeah, good. It's right code. You make kubari. So, ni kijani refresh. Na ni kaja wa semi ya futa. Ni kasema kwa fana. All right. All right. Copyright. All right. Reserved. Road line. Ni ki click road line. Na wana hapa. Wana hapa. Hapa mkono kushoto kwa chini utona inaingia jina la website ya mbaiku hapa hivi. So, ni ki right click. Itaenda kwenye website yangu. Do you see? easy tumeweza kutumishaweza kurekebisha hapo so baada ya kurekebisha hapo sasa tunaweza tukaanza ku, ku, ku add functionalities ambazo umeziona wewe okay so kwa sasa nitatumia hizi story ambazo zipo i'm not going to update another stories uh, kwa hizi demo stories ambazo zipo ndizo ta encrypt ili tuweze kuona je mta ta, 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 bila kuisoma atalipia kwa mfano sasa hivi ukiklick unaweza kusoma ukaklik story yote ukacheki hapa mbona na ukitaka ukopi ina copy do you see mbona ina copy so i need to stop copying also to weke your functionality then tutakuja sehemu ya plugin hapa then nitakija kwenye add new plugin then nikisha click add new plugin then nita search hapa hivi ah uh, inaitwa posti posti inaitwa posti Oops, this this is need to pay. Paper post is what you pay. Okay. Okay, it's like uh yeah this one this one ito pay for posty with woocommerce okay here pando ni kona itafuta hii pay for for posty with woocommerce nita click install nita install e e theme e plugin okay lakin tuta, tuta install tena woocommerce okay nita search tena hapa woocommerce woocommerce So isha isha kuja WooCommerce then it install WooCommerce. Nika install WooCommerce. Nita activate WooCommerce then nita, nita activate pay for post with WooCommerce. Then na nyewe nita activate, okay? Do you see? Na activate yaba. So niki activate itaenda kwenye plugins settings zambapo zipo zote by default umeona? So by default imeenda kwenye wizard ya ya, ya WooCommerce but I don't need that right now. I need to update nataka ni update pia hii hapa hii hapa ambayo tumeweka pay for post ambayo itakuwa inatusaidia sisi ku 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 ku, 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 ku hizo post ziweze kusoma. So nita click pay for post with WooCommerce nita click activate then hapa nita click skip. Okay. Okay, so this is pay for post with WooCommerce. And then on a premium version, this is to me a free version for now. Nanta kwenye ni jizgani inafanya kaz, okay? So what we, we are going to do is, ukisha install hivi, okay? 
please just just get what I what, what I'm going to show you here ona kuna sehemu ya watch news ni blogs news updates on whatever tuki click sehemu ya get started hapa get started itatuonyesha jinsi gani unaweza kutumia hii hii theme hii 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 e, e, nani e, plugin okay so zipo tutorial do you see video youtube stories and whatever nataka ni kuonyesha ukisha install hivi utakuja sehemu ya post blog post ambapo zinakuwa hapa umeona post nikiklik post nitachagua post ambayo ninataka ni lock mtu akija kuisoma ailipie okay so kwa mfano ngoe tuangalie kwenye website ambayo ni live tuangalie post gani ambayo iko hapa juju ili ndo to lock up to test je itafanya kazi Okay then okay let me see let me see which one this one you see this one need to know about the class kickers in retro movie so this post ndo naenda ku lock hapa need to know about class retro movie do you see this then ni ta click edit post then ni click edit post uh utagundua kwamba there are some things have been added here uh tuki 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 click hapa hivi then Tuki, 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 kiki, get started here. Uta scroll mpaka mwisho huku. Do you see? Mpaka mwisho huku. Ukija mpaka mwisho. Ile plugin ambayo tume install. Ile nachofanya, inaongezea iki kitu. Mwana hapa. Pay for posti. Do you see this one? Pay for posti. Na, na ikisha waka iki pay for posti, iki kitu ndo tunakuja kukikuta hapa hivi. Hapa. So, it's like this. Iko hivi. Kama unataka, watu walipie story moja baada nyingine, unafanya hivi ina maana kila posti utakuwa unaifanyia 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 hivi system yenu unaifanyia hivi lakini ikitokea umelipia for premium version ya hii ya hii ya hii na ya hii hapa ina maana utakachoongezewa ni kwamba yani plugin ambayo tume install pay for post with WooCommerce uh, ukilipia uh, uh, nani ukilipia premium premium version hapa utakuwa na uwezo wa ku ya wa kulok na kuweka expiration restriction umeona yani kwa mfano mtu aloki kwamba hii imeloki kwa siku 4 5 inakuwa ina, ina load automatic na kuwa inafahamu okay lakini pia unachagua kwamba una lock nini umeona unaweza kaloki category nzima lakini kama uja au na premium subscription utakuwa una lock post moja moja ndio changamoto lakini nadhani bei zao sio gari sana za, za premium uh, tunaweza tukazicheck pia kwamba kama mtu labda unatengeneza huko serious and you get a lot of money unaweza ku subscribe for premium version ya hii ya hii plugin is okay let me see how much do, do they do they do they, do they need okay tunaweza tukachek kwamba premium version wanahitaji shilingi do you see wanahitaji dola mo dola tano kwa mwezi okay dola tano kwa mwezi ambayo ukilipia lifetime unalipia dola tatu hii ndo unalipia mazima lakini pia single website inakuwa hii ukitaka website tano inakuwa Our e, this is for agents for unlimited website inakuwa dola 1700 lifetime less license okay say inakuwa ni kama kwa sisi ambao tuna design website lakini ukitaka kulipia monthly maana inakuwa hivi lakini ukitaka kulipia annually yani kwamba ulipie hii plugin kwa mwezi utalipia dola tano kwa mwezi hapa sorry dola tano kwa mwezi ambayo kwa miezi 12 itakuwa ni 12 mara tano kama dola 60 hivi kama laki na 30 ukishalipia hivyo inakuwa una free una, una premium premium access ya hii ya hii ya hii plugin okay so tukija hapa sehemu jinsi ya kuset cha kufanya kwanza cha kuset cha kwanza sisi leo set tunataka tuset watu wawe, wawe wanatembelea hii website wanalipia kwa wiki kwa mwezi kwa wiki kwa mwezi au kwa siku kwa wiki kwa mwezi so tuset kwamba nitakuja sehemu ya WooCommerce nitakuja sehemu ya products nita click add new product kwanza cha kufanya una click add new product okay then ikisha click add new product hii product nitaipa jina kwa mfano jina hapa nitaandika lipa kwa wiki for example like this okay this is the name of the product okay so lipa kwa wiki tutaweka bei hapa bei let's say nitaweka f how much f4 bado ipo kwenye dola hapa tutaibadilisha itakuwa shilingi no problem then nita click kwa mfano refune kwa wiki afu nita click hapa then nitakuja sehemu ya inventory nita click limit purchase to one li, to, to, to to one limit yani kama mta kilipia moja tap inakuwa ni moja hapa tunaweza tukaweka product image labda uh, labda image yote 
Hapana tuweke I don't I think we we we'll put an an image here from this these images. So let's say nitaweka hii hapa ndio iwe product image. Hiyo iwe inaonekana mtaka click pale sehemu ya malipo. Ndhani umeona kwa mfano nika click huko duri hiyo picha inakuwa hivi. Do you see? Umeona hii pizi picha hizi hii hapa. Monthly week. So ndo ndo kama hapo naiweka hapa ndo nimeiwekea. So baada ya kuset hivyo hapa nimesha set price then nina update na publish hii product. Hii ni kulipa kwa wiki. Lakini pia naweza nikaweka hapa maelezo ki, kidogo hapa hivi kwenye kwenye description naweza kuweka maelezo kidogo ambayo uh, yatakuwa yanapatikana mtu akiklick let's say hii hapa. Akiklick hii hapa yawe ina yani maelekezo ya kumuelezea kwamba ikoje. Haya hapa haya haya hapa. Kwamba karibu kari, kari, studio za duri si nini hii haya haya must haya ma, maelezo haya sehemu ya kuyawekea ndo hapa hivi hapa hapa kwenye product short description haya uh, niandike kwa mfano Mbona kwamba ukilipia kwa wiki utakuwa na uwezo wa kusoma stories zote bila ukoma okay let's say this is our description then ta click update product then baada hapo tuta create another product ya lipa kwa mwezi so ina maana mtu akicheck aki inakuwa inamletea lipa kwa wiki lipa kwa mwezi kama ulivyoona hapa hivi kwamba lipa kwa wiki lipa kwa mwezi so nita, nita add up another product okay okay let's say add new product okay lipa kwa mwezi let's say say lipa kwa mwezi Okay, do you see? The pia kwa mwezi. Then we shall follow the other the same procedures up to take a image, to take a image, image for now today, we put these uh, adult, we put these animals, okay? Okay, up a pricing, up a video, click visual, visual, kumba visual, kumba product ni, ni visual and it's so downloadable. Let's say it's same, um, I don't know how much. Fsita, let's say Fsita, Fsita. Fsita, okay? They say it's takuja hapa semi ya inventory, it's takuja hapa limit pa purchase. Then in short description hapa, tunaweka pia. bila ukomo okay so utakuwa na uwezo i don't know this is spelling error here but i gonna i gonna i gonna move this okay utakuwa na uwezo kusoma stories zote bila ukomo price to make if sita then the publish product okay i'm sorry the publish product okay nikisha publish product okay na maana hizi hapa product mbili ndio zitakuwa zina to guide kwenye post hapa then nikikurudi kwenye post tukaja all post kwa mfano hii post hapa then tunataka ku lock tunaweka if it will click edit then to shake click edit tukija hapa hivi huku mwisho unakuwa na scroll paka mwisho umeona select product zinaonekana hizi hapa kwamba hii product tunataka ana ilipia kwa wiki au kwa mwezi tunazichagua zote kwa sababu tunataka <coughs> mtu akija kulipa ndo achague na lipa kwa wiki au kwa mwezi okay baada ya, ya kuandika hivi then tuna publish e post very easy ha huh? do you see tukisha publish e post tuki refresh hii website tuka click e post ina maana itatuandikia tulipie sasa itatuandikia lipa kwa wiki lipa kwa mwezi lipa kwa wiki lipa kwa mwezi okay do mwana hii hapa niki click hii post itaniandikia lipa kwa wiki lipa kwa mwezi oops mwana hea hii hapa hii hapa imeandika oops restricted kwa mba lipa kwa wiki lipa kwa mwezi bado ni kwenye dora tutaibadilisha do you see so tutabadilisha hii title hii hii hapa oops restricted tuweke maerezo kama kwa aduli hapa mbavu tunawana kwa mba Uh, at least my maelezo yanaeleweka kwamba samani hii story isomeka kwa mfano let's say kwa to click hapa hivi ili uone what i mean so inakuja muona kwamba habari tafadhali ilipia weze sasa nataka hii haya maelezo haya hapa ndo tuweke hapa hapa hivi kwenye ops restricted content so tunakuja tunakuja tunayabadilisha lakini story zote ambazo unataka ku lock utazifanyia hivyo kwa mfano nikitaka ku lock na hii hapa nita click edit so ukiwa na publish ndo nakuwa nazivekea hiyo lock okay nita click publish lakini kama ni story unaweza kuweka demo kama sehemu ya kwanza free baada ya hapo 
ndio nawaachia watu wanasoma then hapa unachagua select product product ambazo unataka kuzlock unachagua kwamba alipe kwa, kwa vipi then una update na maana hii story tukija kuicheck tena ya inaitwaje how many of these italian food serve have you hebi ngoe tuicheck na yeye utakuta inahitaji subscription ya kulipia okay hiyo hiyo ilikuwa ni ni, ni, ni ni how it works lakini baada ya hapo kuna vitu vya kuset kama hapa web general website and whatever hivyo ni very easy how many how many of these italian foods nikikliki nenyewe itaniambia nilipe kwa wiki au kwa mwezi okay umeona umeona haiwezi kufunguka inaambia lipe kwa wiki au kwa mwezi na mwana mtu akishalipia ndo atakuwa na access ya kuweza kusoma lakini pia ukicheck nikikliki hapa hiyo hii hapa tujaiwekea chochote kwa hiyo hii itasomeka to fresh Mwana, hii inasomeka fresh haina loki Mwana, so kitu kingine cha msingi ambacho nataka ufahamu ni what tubadilishe ile content ile ops your content restricted tunakutaibadilishia hapa hivi hapa kwenye pay for post tukija hapa pay for post tukaja settings then hapa mwana hapa ops restricted mwana hii ops restricted hapa ndo tunabadilishia kwa hii ops restricted nitaibadilisha nitaweka tafadhali li yusi tafadhali li pia iliwezo kusoma maendelezo ooo hapa theni hapa tunandika chagua so tunachagua bundle la wiki au bundle la mwezi okay then to save well, where do we save this to save hapa na maana mtu akija kucheck tena aitamletea ops itamletea tafadhali lipa let me try to try let me try this uh, okay let me try this one and see if it works okay e post okay sure Wow, do you see? Tafadhali lipa ili uweze kusoma maendelezo. Chagua bando la wiki au la mwezi. Cha wiki au mwezi. Muone imeshaonekana poa. Sasa kingine ambacho kipo hapa ni kuweka payment gateways. Kwa mfano ukicheck kwa duri story, mtaka click hapa inamletea Flutter Wave and then ishaonyesha well, ishaonyesha tutorial mbalimbali kuhusiana na na na, 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 na mitandao malipo malipo online. Sasa kuna Flutter Wave. Kuna Flutter Wave, kuna kuna pesa po i don't know utapenda kutumia ipi sasa mimi kwa mfano nitatumia ipi za fruta wave niziweke pale ili tujaribu ku, ku, ku check uone kama kama ina, kama tuone kama je itakubali kwa hiyo nita login kwenye account yangu ya fruta wave i'm currently have an account then nikisha login ah yote inshaelezea kuna tutorial ipo youtube inayohusiana na fruta wave so kama auelewi chochote hapo unaweza kaja ukacheck hii video ya hii hapa hii hapa is a lesson video i made na inaelezea everything kusiana na fruta wave dusi hii video hii jinsi ya kupokea na kulipa malipo kwa kutumia fruta wave nimeelezea a lot of things here you see this video na inahusiana na fruta wave nadhani unaweza kaona so unaweza kutembea hii website ukaicheck hii tutorial ukaicheck then ukafahamu what is in this dashboard okay so mimi cha kufanya hapa nitakuja hapa sehemu ya api keys ambazo ni za malipo then it has a display hapa uh, they are not functioning maybe even if you see them no problem hata ukizicheki lakini sio hizi mpaka bado zinaendelea huko it's not it's not end here lakini they are not functioning uh, by the way na nita request others at the end of the video watu wanaweza kusema oh why do you expose your apis i uh, there's not no problem okay so nikija hapa nitakuja huko sehemu ya plugin ni yeah, hapa sema plugins tena nita, nita install plugin ya Fluta Wave payments okay nitakuja hapa nitaandika Fluta Wave Fluta Wave hii hapa no 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 not flat um Fluta this this Fluta Wave why is not okay this Fluta Wave niki click Fluta Wave hii hapa you see hii hapa ambayo ni recent updated mwana by fruit of developers ina installs of sita na so nita click hii hapa install 
then niki click install tasubiri itaingia then nita click activate niki click activate hivi ndo nataka hiyo mfumo uo na uwezo wa kunipeleka hadi sehemu ya malipo kama unakumbuka kwa mfano kwenye duri tuki click lipa sasa na maana itanileta okay somewhere here umeona itanileta okay do you see mbona hii fruta wave fruta wave fruta wave ambayo inalipa kwa mastercard visa na na hii hapa no no ni very very okay so nikija hapa nikishaweka hiyo fruta wave nitakuja sehemu ya woocommerce hapa nikija sehemu ya woocommerce nikaja settings nitakutana na hiyo app ya fruta wave okay then nikija sehemu ya settings m20 m20 or in all kitu ambacho tunakuwa na kiset tukija hapa general na yenyewe tunga setting wewe tumalizie tu kuiset hapa tutachagua country ambayo tupo kwa sasa hivi tupo Tanzania. Lengo la kuchagua country ni kwamba hata hela ibadilike iwe Tanzania ni shilling. Kama uliona hapa ilikuwa bado tunafaa kazi kwa dola. So nitakuja hapa nitachinta select I don't know where is Tanzania. Tanzania I mean Dar es Salaam. So tachagua Dar es Tanzania mkoa ambao upo. Then hapa currency muona hapa ni US state nini nini nitachagua nita T shilling. Ili mtaweza kuona pale nayo display ni T shilling. Tanzania ni shilling. Mbona? Yeah, but Tanzania ni shilling. Kwa hiyo ile 6 ambayo tumeweka kama bei itakuwa inaonekana kama Tanzania ni shilling. Lakini pia nikija hapa sehemu ya payment ndo lengo hasa nitakuja hapa sehemu ya payment. Nitakuta payment gateway tofauti lakini mimi nitachagua rev rev ndo 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 fruta wave. Okay? Then nita click finish setup. Okay? Then nitakuja hapa, nita click hapa, nita click mode tachinta select live mode. Hii hapa nimeshaelezea kama ni venture in tutorial so unaweza kaipitia ukaona haya yote maana yake ni nini. So nitakuja kwenye text test hapa test public key ni live public public key ndo nitaziweka hapa ambazo nazitoa hapa kwenye website yangu kwenye hapa hivi. Then ninazweka hapa. Okay. Hapa is ndo live secret key then nakuja secret key secret key hapa Okay. Na paste hapa. Then baada ya kuset ya ya, ya kuset hapa, kuna kitu hapa kinaitwa hii hapa hook instruction. Hook instruction nitai copy afa na kuelezea maana yake. Nitakuja sehemu ya hook hapa, web hook hapa. Umeona? Nitai nitai nita paste hapa. Hii iliyopo ni ya website ya zamani. So nita set hapa. Afa kuna rash rev secret hash ukija rev secret hash ndo na copy hapa bado ni hiyo your rev secret hash no problem tutaiacha hivyo then tuta save hii hook inasaidia hook web hook instructions inasaidia pale mtu akilipa mfumo uweze kutambua amelipa na uweze kurudisha majibu umenipata kama umelipia kwamba unarudishwa asante kwa, kwa kufanya malipo hasa mfumo na website vitakuwa vinawasiliana kupitia hook then baada ya hapo ndio inakuja inakuwa hivyo lakini pia unaweza kwa kuwa tumeset hook tunaweza tukaset auto complete order ili mtakilipa automatic imrudishe kwenye website impeleke sehemu ya story a click aweze kusoma so tumesha include a uh, web payment ya fruta wave kwao nikija hapa nikachagua hii story then nika click add to cart kwa mfano view card hii story then then ni hapa then kwa mfano proceed to checkout tukija kulipa nadhani sasa hivi unaona imeshakuwa shilingi so tena dola muone imeshakuwa shilingi 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 umeona umeshaingia hii fruta wave umeona fruta wave umeshaingia then hapa i don't know the need us to fill information no problem i can fill them within a sec okay then then tuseme tuna place order tuki place order tutakuwa na uwezo wa ku process order yetu kwa kutumia fruta wave kwa sababu kila kitu kinafanya kazi poa do you see then you click make payment na lipia shilingi 6000 nita click hapa itanipeleka ita load then baada ya hapa yeah would you like to pay yo itani ita ita la itaenda tu sasa hapo kuna njia ya kulipa kwa sim unatekeka unaweka namba yako ya sim hii ndio njia rahisi kama ni mtu anatumia sim anaweka namba yake ya sim aki click pay wanamletea kwenye simu yake kwamba weka namba ya siri kudhibitisha muamala lakini hii system inafanya kazi mpaka uwasiliane na fruit na fruit wave wakupe extended APIs nyingine ambazo zitakusaidia lakini kwa sasa hivi tuki click kwamba kwa mfano pay with card hapa ndo tunaweza tukalipa kwa visa kwa mfano ikeka card yangu ya visa hapa i'm not going to expose my cvv here but it's not good also to show up this then ikiklick hapa nika click pay 
utaona hela inakatwa kwenye card na ita kwa kwa tumeseti hook itarudi kwenye website na transaction itakuwa completed okay do you see how easy it is so sasa hivi tutaingia website ambayo mtu anaweza kaja aka akaweka order ya vitu na akalipa kwanza story na baada ya hapo ndo akaja kufanya malipo yani akafanya malipo alafu ndo anakuja kusoma story okay so hizi story zote unaweza kazifuta ukaweka story za kwako kama ilivyo kwenye duri mwana hizi duri hizi duri tunazo publish normally kama blog post lakini baadaye tunazo encrypt kama nilivyo kuonyesha na kila kitu ni free a to z umeona tunatumia free so baadhi ya vitu vya kurekebisha easy kwa mfano kwenye kwenye hii website ni kwa mfano tukitaka kubadilisha let me show you here kwa mfano hii logo tukaweka logo ya website hapa ni kuja kwa mfano kwa sehemu ya, ya, ya appearance tukaja customize kija hapa tuka customize ndo tunaweza tukaseti baadhi ya vitu ambavyo ni rahisi kama i don't know footer i don't know logo suite description and whatever so nikija set identity logo one in kwa meter age then it load line kwa mfano jina la website so, okay do you see i like load line nikiandika load line ndo itakuwa jina lakini kama una logo ndo taipachika hapa let's say wewe unatumia logo utumii jina uta click hapa is display your your your, your load line of logo ndo display kama ume upload kupitia hapa sina logo um, so kwa mfano tuseme hii ndo logo yetu ndo nikiselect hivi ndo 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 logo ya website hii itakuja kuonekana hapa muona hii hapa itakuja kuonekana hapa kama logo ya website na vitu vingine unaweza kubadilisha changes kama hapa hivi kutaka kwenye kuna kitu nataka kutoa hizi menu kuzibadilisha social menu au naenda chap eh kwa mfano tuseme kwa mfano hizi menu let's say mtu anaweza kauliza hizi hizi menu hizo nazoekaje ngoja sana nikuenshi hizi menu na nadhani tutakuwa tuna wind up the video okay nadhani tutakuwa tumeona jinsi ya kuseti kila kitu a to z so nikija hapa sehemu ya ya appearance tukija kwenye menu hapa menu muona navigation menu muona is menu hizi home blog nini unaweza kaseti hivi lakini kama ya category ukija hapa sehemu ya post category kama mimi ukiona kwenye duri story hapa nimeweka hizi category chombezo i don't know ujasusi si nini category ndio inakuja kuwa hapa ndo natengenezea na hapa kwenye hizi category kwa hiyo na post post na naichagulia category ndio ili mtu akija akiklik hapa imepeleke kwenye category lakini pia ukicheka kwenye duri stories nimeweka my account ni lengo mtu akifika hapa aweze ku login kwenye account yake na aweze kusoma ina na maana mtu ambaye amelipa atakuwa na uwezo wa kusoma mara pale anavyo login kwenye website yake do you see kwa sababu mimi nime login kama Rogers ndio maana naona everything is like this na another thing yeah most of things viko hivyo everything is works normally like that na hivyo ndo jinsi website ilivyo so watu watakuwa naweza kulipia na hela yako ukishalipwa inakuwa naingia sehemu ya profile ya ya flutter wave ukikuonyesha chap chap kwa mfano nikisema balance currently sina hela yote i don't have any current balance itakuwa hapa na ukishamaliza hapo ninakuwa naweza ku draw na kuipeleka kwenye account yangu ya bank okay thank you very much we had a nice presentation my name is again is rogens let's meet up into another tutorial okay guys thank you very much for watching my video nadhani ume enjoy a to z tukata tengeneza hii website na kila kitu kimeenda kime cool kama utahitaji website ya design hii au kama unahitaji website kama hii please watch video a to z tumetumia free resources kutengeneza hii website by the way uh kama utakwama una comment to the specific video au unanicheck kupitia YouTube kwenye account yangu kwenye profile kuna namba yangu ya WhatsApp au unatembelea website yangu ya Loadline so this is my website unaweza kutembelea Loadline uh, kuna buttons za WhatsApp hapa unaweza kuklick WhatsApp then utapata namba yangu very easy okay then ukinicheck okay, kila kitu kitaenda cool tutawasiliana na wewe then tutaona how we can help each other okay thank you very much continue watching my other videos Okay see you in the next tutorial